this tutorial we will see how to install maple mbsc open a rhapsody sample edit the model and save it using maple mbsc so i have the maple mbsc installer here and you can find more information on installing maple mbsc and licensing by searching for maple mbsc 2019 installation Click on the first link, you will be able to see an installation guide that will walk you through how you can install Maple MBSC. So I will go ahead and use the installer. So you will see an installation screen that appears. By default, the language selection is going to be English. Click on OK. You will see a setup screen. Continue accept the end user license agreement click on next by default maple mbsc will select an installation directory based on your excel bit version here i have excel 64 bit that's why you are seeing that it is maple mbsc by default installs in program files click on next you can install shortcuts continue i'm going to install a single user license if you have your purchase code you can enter it here or you can continue with the installation and then you can activate the license click on next now it is going to check for the available products so i have unlocked maple mbsc and the rhapsody adapter click on ok to continue with installation so you at the end you will see in maplesoft activation screen click on next to activate the product provide your name and email address click on next to continue accept the agreement click on make sure that you have checked maplesoft product announcement so you are accept the agreement click on next so your activation will be successful now click ok you are completed installing so let us start off with a sample rhapsody example click on the rhapsody msc file so you will be able to see maple mbsc is being launched we have to select the rhapsody model file with rpy extension Here is the Rhapsody project. Click on the .rpy extension. Click open. Your model will be now opened in Maple MBC. So let us also open the same model in Rhapsody. Okay. So here I am opening the model using Rhapsody. So that we have the model. Let us check in Maple MBC. Here you have the packages that are available in the model. You can see the similarity between the packages here. We have base requirements, default requirements, structure and use case, and you are seeing the same packages here in Maple MBSC2. Clicking on the next tab will take us to the requirements that are being defined in the model. So we'll be able to see the same requirements that are defined in Rhapsody. Let's click on requirements. You are able to see the requirements that are there. And the dependency in the requirement as derived requirement, we are able to see that the requirement R04 and R03 have a derived relationship, same as the one that we see here in the model. Continuing on to the next tab, you can see the derived relationship as a matrix. In the previous slide, we saw a table which showed the derived relationship. And this is the same table but as a matrix view. To create a new requirement, all you have to do is provide a new ID. Say I want to create a new performance requirement. And the specification should uh, say I want to create a new performance requirement and the specification should be the car should reach uh, 60 miles per hour in 6 seconds.
60 lines per hour in six seconds. There we have created a new requirement. You can also see that the requirement can also be seen the other tab. So here you see the new requirement we created. Let's create a derived relationship between the performance requirement and the seven gear support. So here this X represent that the relationship has been made between R03 R06. You'll be able to see a new entry that is being created between R03 R06. So let us save this and check our Rhapsody model. Click on the save button. Open Rhapsody. Now you will be able to see the new relationship that was created. So here is the new requirement we created and the relationship exists between the performance requirement and the support seven gears. So in the next tab, we can see the actors that are in the model and their related use cases. To create a new actor, provide a name. Let's call it to be provide a name, that's maintenance technician. Then let's create a use case. Let's call the use case to be perform maintenance. And the actor is maintenance technician. We have created now a use case between maintenance technician and perform maintenance. Let's save it to the model and open our model here. So let's see the new use case and the actor we created. Here is the maintenance technician and perform maintenance. So here we see the new use case that we created. And similarly, this is the relationship uh, that displays blocks here on the second level blocks and the third level block. Uh, here you can see the dual clutch transmission has four parts. To create a new part, let's call that new part to be gearbox A. and say that gearbox owns this gearbox A. So there we have created a new part for gearbox since gearbox is owned by dual clutch transmission you see a new row that is being created. So if you check the model now you will not be able to see the new part that we created so here we don't see any of the changes that we made recently. That is because we have not saved the model. Let's save the model. Refresh our lab study model. So here we can see the new part that we created, a new block called gearbox and the part Gearbox A is assigned to Gearbox. In the next tab, we can see satisfied relationship that is created between the blocks and the requirements. For example, if I want to create a new satisfied relation between Gearbox A and the performance requirement. Here we created a new relationship. You can see that in the next tab that a new row that was added. Let's save it back to the model and open it in Rhapsody. So here we can see Gearbox A as a satisfied relationship with performance requirement. So that's end of this Rhapsody sample. We saw how to open a Rhapsody model, edit and save it back to Rhapsody. For more information on using MapleMBSC, visit maplembsc.com.